One of the striking images of the last number of weeks were people gathering outside their homes, outside their places of work to clap, and to give a round of applause for our frontline workers. And one of the words that has been often used in newspapers and by politicians was the word mehel, coming together of people in time of difficulty to help one another. Here in Scala, one of our major programs for young people is our Mehel Youth Leadership Training Program, and it was due to begin next week. Scala is quiet. This week, volunteers should have been here to prepare for the beginning of, of that program. And it's underpinned by the words of the prophet Micah, to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with your God. Or as we say with our young people, justice, compassion, and humility. And part of their training is to help them develop that spirit, and that sense of justice, compassion, and humility in their own lives and in the lives of their school communities. This crisis, which will pass, has shown the spirit of Mehel alive and active in our towns and in our villages and in our cities right throughout the country with people coming together for the common good, looking out for each other, being compassionate, being humble, and being just. I pray that we continue to do all that we can to make sure that the Mehel is alive and is active, not just during this crisis, but well beyond it. And maybe this is the, the positive aspect of the crisis that we go through right now.